We have a question from Bill, and it's interesting because today it seems like it's the pull-up week. Uh, we have another question on pull-ups here. Bill asks us, does hand position make very much difference when doing pull-ups? Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to give an answer yes right now. If you're being tested on a certain kind of pull-up, then hand position matters because you have to do it the way they say. So if they say a thumbless grip for a pull-up, and that's the thing you're being tested on for a workshop or certification or military thing or police academy test, um, then you have to do it that way. If they say this way, do it this way. If they tell you to do it this way, then it does. Other than being tested, I think it's actually not a good idea to just do them one way. And part two of your question, Bill, I find underhand, that is chin-ups, uh, sometimes tweaks my arms or shoulders a bit. Okay, and you are now the first person I've ever heard of that uh, bothering you. That's that's fascinating. That's why I love working with so many different kinds of clients. Uh, for me, I find that just, oh, I feel so good. Okay, but maybe I've been doing overhand pull-ups for so long, I'm just not used to it. Obviously, yeah, obviously. Should I deliberately rotate through the four options uh, underhand, parallel, angled. Oh, ang uh, angled. I, okay, I know what you're talking about. A uh, and o o overhand. I've always been a big fan of the parallel pull-up. That's why I like having monkey bars uh, <clears throat> near my facilities when I train. Uh, at the school I was at where they moved the javelin sector to be near the monkey bars. I mean, it was just a win-win. The, the brachiating of the monkey bars and then the parallel grip pull-ups. And it was interesting to watch the athletes naturally change their body position to come through more like this at the top. I thought that was fascinating. Um, to keep my sh arms and shoulders stretched out are just the ones that are comfortable. Uh, you know what I would do if I were you? Uh, f uh, and let me double check this. Uh, we don't have an age here, Bill. But hey, man, if you no one's forcing you to do pull-ups. Do whatever you think. Make, do whatever feels good. Uh, it'll be interesting to see you do, like, if you did a whole bunch of parallel and then test on the one you have to test on, see if that carried over. Uh, and finally, he says this, while we're here, what about my thumbs? I think your thumbs should be connected right there to your hand. <laughs> uh, tucked, wrapped, or whatever my heart feels like that day. Um, <clears throat> we teach at the uh, certs to do the thumbless grip because I guess it prepares you for the muscle up. But honestly, <clears throat> I uh, when I'm working with the military and police now, I always tell them uh, that they should have a chain link fence in their facility and, and practice jumping over chain link fences because that's much more common for them than a nice little hanging sewer pipe or, I don't know, pipe. Um, I also think that they should train, a, you know, like on a fire escape kind of thing, that kind of, you know, that kind of muscle up. Um, I also think they should have a variety of smaller uh, fences so they can actually practice uh, leaping over fences because I think that's a lot more applicable to what they need to do. Um, so I don't really care about the thumbs as much as I used to. Uh, I don't know if they make you stronger or weaker. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't, I've never, I would never be able to do a chin up without my thumbs like that. Um, but a pull up I can do it easily. Uh, with the parallels, I don't, I don't even know if it would matter for me, but I tend to use my thumbs, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure it matters unless, and getting back to our original question, if it's for a test.